the Ask Kevin series. We're here talking about accord and satisfaction. Those of you who are dealing with debt issues, mortgages, uh, student loans, rent, all of that stuff, including the banks, I think this might be beneficial for you. Kevin. Comma. Comma. Under the law of contracts, comma, accord takes place when the tender is given to the creditor for the full amount and the debt has been satisfied. Comma, could you elaborate on this established principle of law? Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, what he's saying is that under the law of contracts, accord and satisfaction is the legal principle that allows for the discharge of a debt through an agreement between a creditor and a debtor. This agreement can take place through a variety of methods, including the tender of payment in full to the debtor from by the debtor to the creditor. When a valid tender of payment is made, it is considered an offer to discharge the debt in full. The creditor accepts the tender and the debt it's considered satisfied as a party is discharged from any further obligation of the contract. It's also known as a court of the agreement between the parties and the debt is satisfied. The second step in satisfaction is the actual discharge of the debt. This occurs when the creditor accepts the tender and does not make any further, take any further actions to collect the debt. This can either be by accepting the tender and failing to reject it in a timely manner. This is known as tender of payment. It is important to note that the principle of accord and satisfaction is not applicable in all situations. And the specific law for blah, 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 blah. Nobody asked you for all of that stupid stuff. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm doing, and I'm going to show you the document that I'm working on for all of our people. When the collateral security is tendered and accepted by the lender or the creditor, the lender or creditor does not reject the collateral security within a reasonable time, it can be considered a court. Um, hold on. The lender or creditor. Okay, so that was... Now, this is me telling the system this. Okay, then it says an agreement is discharged. Blah, blah, blah. So what I do here is I put my hyphens, and inside the hyphens I say, Could you fit this in between you little hyphens? And it says, all right, homie, I'm going to fit it between the hyphens. And so it gets fitted between the hyphens. Okay? Why? Because I'm going to use the AI system to keep everything kosher, copacetic. Okay? So there you go. It's right there, same paragraph, explaining everything. Everything. The same thing you get to do with your emotions. Oh, but guess what I tell them? Now watch this. You're going to love this. Let me undo that because we don't have to use that statement. Okay, I asked them to explain. Hold on now. Ask them to explain. Now watch this. Wake up. Could you explain it the way a legal scholar would explain the aforementioned? Question mark. Stop listening. Under the law of contracts, the principle of accord and satisfaction is established. The principle states that when the debtor tenders payment to the creditor for the full amount of the debt and the creditor accepts the tender without timely refusing it, the debt is considered satisfied. This is based on the idea that the acceptance of the tender, it releases the collateral security. The collateral security given as part of the tender is considered to be a substitute for payment. The principle is derived from the common law and has been recognized by the courts of the United States. It is important to note that in order for accord and satisfaction to occur, the debtor must tender payment in full of the debt and the creditor must accept the tender without raising any objections. Additionally, the collateral security offered must be legally valid and acceptable substitute for payment. Ta-da! And I'm gonna keep that disclaimer he puts there. Okay? Now, watch this. Watch this. Uh-oh, got to get rid of you.
That chat be GB 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 he be GB tubies. Okay. And now I'm gonna take and I wanna paste it so it fits this phone. And under the law of contracts, the principle of according satisfaction is established. This principle states blah 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 blah. Ta da! That's how we're putting the presentment together. We're mixing a couple of things together. We'll be doing a video showing you guys this. But when you have to put together a motion, write your motion first and then put it in Open Chat GPT and ask it to reword it as if an attorney was writing it. So that it's not sounding like you don't know what you're doing. And then you can edit it and change it around because that's what I'm doing. Okay. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A quick discussion with Ask Kev. Vin. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.